Hello everybody, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And today we're gonna be we're gonna be reacting to a video and stuff like that. We're gonna be reacting to it. Um I'll be a resident black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look, I have got a black friend. We start we start texting and talking for I don't know, like three months. Yeah. This is the first girl I met that I felt was out of my league. She texts me and says, I'm gonna be in town in a few weeks. Is it cool if I stay with you? That's already the first problem. Not dating somebody that's out your league, but I hope that he didn't do the dumb the dumb thing about telling a girl that she is out of his league. Because right when you do that, uh, the power dynamics already shift and, and it, it's not gonna work out, okay? Just gonna put that out there. Bruh, I was at the airport that night camping out, plur. So she gets into town, pick her up from the airport, take her out to eat. And this is how I know if I'm starting to like a girl. If we're out to eat and I'm here like... <laughs> eating like I'm in some kind of 18th century renaissance movie, mm -hmm. wiping my mouth after every bite, that's how you know I'm feeling you. Okay. The whole weekend, the girl was just giving me butterflies, and that, it takes a lot, because they tell me I'm picky. I say, I just know what I like. She was there for the whole weekend, no funny business, no kissing, no nothing. Absolutamente nada. Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. You in a friend zone. I'm sorry, y'all spent a whole weekend together, she stay at your apartment. And you you bought her food and y'all didn't fuck. You in the friend zone. Okay, okay. Leave it alone, Shay. Maybe. It... Struggle because I'm getting butterflies around this girl, but I'm not getting oh, the vibes. Lord. She comes over, we hang out the first weekend, she goes home. She goes back home, but after that trip, we start talking like every day. Okay. So I don't know, maybe a month after that. She's back in town. She comes over. She spends the whole weekend with me. We go out to eat every night. She leaves on Sunday and again, no kissing, no cuddling, no funny business. Are you flying this girl out? Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? Huh? Are you just flying out? Like <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> That's some simp ass shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Two weekends in a row. That's six days. And we've been talking. Y'all been talking to each other. What for a month? There's Y'all been talking to each other like four months in total. And you telling me two weekends. Y'all don't smash. I'm sorry. The fuck are we doing here? I'm grown. Absolutamente nada. So one night we're on FaceTime and she says, I think I'm starting to like you and that's not good. You know, I was thinking if you get a girlfriend, I'm gonna be hot. I'm gonna be mad mad. Like, let's hang out again and see how it goes. Don't fall for that shit. Don't do it. Don't fall for it. Do not fall for that shit. Do not fall for that shit. Cause you know what she just did? She basically, Y'all are not committed to each other, but what she basically just did was she made you committed to her. Not the other way around. You are committed to her. Not she is committed to you. Because she said if you get mad, you will get mad if you got a girlfriend. So she basically just took you off the market. If you allow her to. But I think he did. You already done messed up. You already told me everything I need to hear. I go to her this time. On the whole sim- Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah, he done fucked up. Topic, I've learned this about me. I typically don't start out simping. Once I start to like you, and I cross that threshold, that's when the simping starts. Like, I let you get away with freaking murder. Get to this girl's place. Y'all, we make out so much. I know y'all are just like, is this code for something else? No! Hands down, this girl was the best kisser I've ever had in my life. 45 minutes in, I'm just here like, oh my God. If we don't start dating, this girl has just ruined kissing for me. She walks me out to my car, I pin her up against the car and start making out with her for a little bit longer. Let me just be clear. After I left her house, I was driving home like this. Okay. Hey! Mm, 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 mm. 
Like I said, this girl was out of my leagues. I, I was feeling myself. Get home the next day, we talk, and she just lays it all out. I like, like, like you, and I'm gonna be completely honest. I broke up with my ex almost a year ago. I'm still not fully over it, so just be patient with me. I'm a clingy girlfriend. We can keep moving forward, but I just wanna lay it all out, let you know the situation. Here we go. Let me tell you this. That is a bait and switch. Okay, let me just put it on like this, right? She don't want to commit to you, but then she says something that is makes her sound like she will commit when she's ready. Okay, that was a bait and switch. Like, I still need time to heal. Even, oh, I need time to heal. But but when I'm ready, we gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna be on you like white on rice, you know what I'm saying? But I, I still need time to heal. So it, it sounds like an oxymoron, like saying it. It's literally a bait and switch. It's like, she gave you enough. She already laid the foundation for you not to go nowhere, okay? So basically, she said that she basically just made you committed to her. You went over her house for the weekend. Y'all kissed or whatever. And then after y'all did all of that, then she waits until you get home, lets you know, hey, yo, I am not ready. Even though it's been a year, I'm not ready for a boyfriend. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Okay, but when I am ready, I'm gonna be hella clingy. It's a bait and switch, man. She gave you just a little to make you wanna stay. Gucci snakes, let's go. Probably wondering, where is the simp portion of this video, Swoozy? <laughs> oh. What you, I already saw it, what do you mean? This is the simp version. She laying the groundwork, she's she's basically a lawyer. She's laying the groundwork for the well, the foundation for the for the simpation. You can see it. Can Am I the only one? Wait, it's close. We're talking every day. You know, I put a little emoji next to her contact. Oh, Things Lord. are getting pretty serious now. Oh, no. Then she tells me, So, we just hired this new server at my restaurant. Damn it! I'm out, bro. I freak out. I'll tell you why. If you've seen my other video a few years ago, my girlfriend's boyfriend. I said, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Hold, wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. Those were the same words that I heard before. Nigga, what? <laughs> it's always funny when you hear it. Everything went meow, pow. That's a trigger sentence for me. We just hired a new server. So internally, I'm going crazy. But on the outside, I was just like, oh, what's his name? Damien. El Diablo. No, not like this. Not like this. Oh. We're still talking. We're still FaceTiming every day. Then this girl says, Would you be mad if another guy gave me a massage? Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb, huh? The answer is, is yes. Yes, I would be mad if another man gave you a massage. Yes, that, that should be the answer. What's the scenario? No, no. See, yeah, this is major simp territory. Right there, that's major simp territory. Because why? It, 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 no, no. Right there, no. Here, no. Right, no. Right here is where is 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 you already given her choices, her chances to get out of it. Okay. Now, now it could be like just it could be like oh yeah, man something like oh somebody tried to give me a massage but i told him no but it wasn't even like that that's not how she phrased it it would it's like a would you get mad or would you care if it's like some fucked up scenario dog around this massage is some dude at your house in your bedroom giving you a massage no damien started giving me a massage while i was at work i was on break and i was just sitting down and he came up behind me and started giving me a massage me he started giving me a massage I love this for you. Are you mad? It's an innocent massage in your restaurant with people around. We Gucci snakes. Um. Uh, I'm sorry. Um. What? Nigga, she friend zoned your ass. She friend zoned your ass. 
Would you be mad if she tested the waters to see if you would actually be mad? And then since you weren't mad, then she don't care no more. Like, that's basically what it is. Like, she don't fucking care anymore. Like, wh why would she care? Like, she doesn't care anymore. <laughs> she didn't care about you in the first place. But she, but she was testing out the waters on how much she can get away with before you actually got mad. Like, literally. Because she's like, if he gonna let me get a massage... What else can I do for him to, I mean, he gonna be, he gonna get over it so it doesn't fucking matter. A few more nights and then one night she goes, I'm gonna go hang out with a few co-workers. What are you gonna do? I'll be here editing. Okay, uh, I'll probably just call you tomorrow then. Gucci snakes, deuces. Yo, what are you, what are you, in my shoes, how do you proceed? Next day, hold. What you mean? Like, she gonna go hang out with a whole bunch of friends. Okay, go. Whole day goes by, I don't hear from this girl. No text, no call. And when you have that POI, you know their behaviors, you know their patterns. So when those patterns start changing, it can mean a few things. She fucking somebody else. You gave me some glorious magical dick and I want it forever. You what is happening okay? right now? <laughs> That's what it means. Hold up, so you telling me she went out with her friends and she ain't messaged you the whole day? Not even like, not even like, oh yeah, hey yo, I just got home. Or not even I just got home. Man, I just woke up. We were out drinking last night. Nothing? Nada? Zip? Oh, she fucking. I call her. I don't want to jump right into it. So like 20 minutes into the call, I says to her, I says. Okay. So where did you end up going last night? Oh... Uh, me and a co-worker went to the pier. A I caught that singularness of that sentence. A co-worker. Oh, okay, few, okay, he caught it. But now it's A. Huh. This bitch is a, this bitch is a stupid ass liar. I swear to God. Y you can't even lie straight. Just tell the fucking truth. Huh. And what happened at the pier? Um, I don't remember. Oh, no, you didn't, bitch. No, yeah, you I didn't. Yeah, I she caught selective amnesia. Fucking leave this hoe alone. She caught selective amnesia. Selective amnesia. This shit happened last night and she don't remember what had happened? I, I'm gonna just head to the crib, bro. I'm gonna take the L on this one. I mean, the vibe already fucked up anyway. Did he, did, did he break your spine in, baby? Is that why you don't remember you have head trauma from some other nigga? Why don't you remember what happened last night? You don't remember? This happened... This happened last night. You don't remember? Sus alarms are going off all the way down the hall. You, you know go. what? I'ma let you go. There I you got go. work to do. There you go. Okay. The whole next day, I'm hot. You know when you're mad and you start overthinking it's a bad combo? Why can't I just meet a girl, like a girl, the girl like me, and then everybody's happy? Like, why can't it be? It's literally that simple. It's always gotta be some twist, some new DLC in Street Fighter. It's always gotta be some kind of convoluted, nonsensical. It's like the girls I pick always feel the need to just insert problems in form of another dude. Listen, you wanna run off and do your thing? Have a nice life. You know when you have that thing that's bothering you and it just Bubbles. You know the next time you actually go to say it, it's not gonna be good? I had a feeling that was coming. Two days go by, we don't talk, which was not normal. She FaceTime calls me. My energy is just off, like, one word answers. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. Cool. You 20 minutes or so into the call, I was kinda just like, all right, listen, we need to talk about this. Okay. What do we gotta talk about? The other freaking night, bro! At the pier, you didn't go with a few coworkers, you went out with a coworker. Yes or no? Yes, I went with one coworker. Was that co-worker Damien? Yes. Did y'all mess around? I don't have time for this! <laughs> Called it. When I get that feeling, I want sexual healing. I, I, what happened to she needed some time? She needed some time. Oh my God, I needed so much time to heal and everything else. I needed all the time in the world. I am sorry, sweetheart. You know what you were? You were a placeholder. That's what you were in this girl's life. You were a fucking placeholder. And basically, she she replaced you with somebody else, darling. And that is that is sad but true. I, she, 
I guess, I guess, I guess she just needs some dick because I, what happened to that? I need healing. I need time because I'm going to be the clingiest girlfriend in the world. She didn't look at you as a person. She looked at you as a placeholder. Basically, if you think about it, when you see like in certain documents, you just see blank. That's what you were until somebody that was actually, that she actually wanted came along. And I'm sorry to hear that, darling. But that's what she looked at you as. Hangs up. Well, that's my answer. And you know you would have felt some type of way if the roles were reversed and I pulled some nonsense like that on you with some other female. Just own it, yeah. I went out with Damien, we made out, we might have done other stuff. I think I like him, let me explore some things here with him. That's the mature adult way to go about this. You hearing it, you might agree with me, you might not agree with me. I agree with you, that's an adult way to think about it, but she didn't look at you as an equal because you she already knew that you put her on a pedestal, so she didn't look at you as an equal. She looked at you as somebody that somebody who was a placeholder. She looked at you as a simp. She looked at you as basically he's here for right now and he's he's somebody that can burn up my time until somebody else come along that I actually like and everything else. And I bet you, I bet you I bet you she was probably like all the time that you messaged her and everything else. She thought it was cute in the beginning. She really, really did. But because it's a routine now, she don't like it. It's not entertaining. It's not fun. It's not exciting. And so she found somebody else that she was like, oh, he's closer. He lives here and everything else. And that's where she went with it. I get it. This experience was very personal. My heart on sleeve, fully exposed. So, you know, having all this happen was not a great feeling. For the next three days, I feel like crap. And then out of the blue random, she calls me and my heart like jumps into my throat. I'm like so happy to hear from her, right? Well, then it's time for round goddamn two. Hey, what's up? Talking like she didn't just hang up on me the last time we talked. Do you know what kind of gas a Mercedes takes? You don't have a car. I know, no, no, this is not my car. Who's letting you drive their Mercedes? Damien, he's working. The audacity. Oh no, you didn't, bitch. Yeah, no, you I didn't. Was there. The toxicity in my city, in my city. I am telling you, oh my God, the amount of balls it takes for her to call you and tell you that. Hold up, scratch that. It's no balls at all because she didn't think of you like that. And and God damn it, like this is why you don't put bitches on a fucking pedestal. I swear to God, I have these conversations with my homeboys all the fucking time. To stop putting these bitches on a pedestal at all they are they are ground level for your ass until they prove themselves that they deserve to be there you treat them like everybody else and i am i will promise you you will get more places than that because everybody already knows that like 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 it or not there's a pretty privilege out there and everything else and i bet i bet i bet on the star that she already knew that you found a hella attractive you found her hella everything and that's why you, you you put her up on that fucking pedestal and she fucking stayed there she fucking stayed there and you and she now she has this attitude of like how dare you ask me what i am doing how dare they ask me how am i doing um you're beneath me you know why she feel that way because you put her on that fucking pedestal to begin with and i had today off so he just let me drive his mercedes around word that's what you call me about yeah dude you don't have to act all weird about it you know what? I don't know what kind of gas a Mercedes takes. And dude, that was just like the extra, mm, I was hot. So guess what I do? I take to social media. I write this paragraph. Don't I don't do call that. nobody out by name, don't but you that. know who you are. Don't In the post, I go full simp. I get a text from my cousin, Mark yep. Andre. Hey, you got a second to talk? I call him, we get to talking. I saw your Facebook post. You can't talk like that, you're a thorn. Give me the full story. I take him through the whole thing from start to end. I'm telling him how I can't sleep now, how I can't eat, I don't have an appetite. He's like, I've been with a lot of girls 
and I got so bored, I just started testing out different theories. So everything I'm about to tell you has been tested. Okay. First of all, you get too sappy, you get too emotional. Most girls don't like these sappy dudes. True, but not true. Okay, most girls do not like sappy dudes as in that put their heart out on their sleeve and everything else because it, it takes them aback. But if you're cold to a girl and then one time you express your emotions to them, they'll, they'll feel they'll feel like, oh my God, he's opening up to me. They'll have that sort of feeling and everything else. That's what most girls are, okay? They, they're like that. That's just how it is and everything else. Me, I'm complete opposite. I just need to know how you, how you feeling. And I do this to my male friends, my female friends, and everything else. I, I literally sit there and say, I do like temperature gauges. I'll be like, hey, yo, man, I ain't heard from you in a minute. You good? Hey, yo, man, I saw you texting something cray cray. You good? Hey, yo, man, something in my heart just told me I need to call, talk to you. Hey, yo, are you good? That's what I do because of the fact that the matter is sometimes you just need some people to check up on you. But I mean, I'm different. I'm not even trying to be like I'm built different. I just I just I just don't like to guess what's your problem because I'm a very upfront person. So me guessing what the fuck is your problem is never going to work because I'm going to I'm just going to assume shit. So that's why I always ask somebody, "Hey yo, you good?" For the nice guy, you're acting like the nice guy right now. The yes. groundwork of everything you do when handling a female needs to be out of respect. Sometimes you gotta be mean to him, but you still gotta respect him. He was actually the first person that ever broke down DHV and DLV to me. DHV is demonstration of higher value. DLV is demonstrating lower value. Pretty much every simp lines themselves up in this category. Mm -hmm. They put in 100%, the girl puts in maybe 10%. I get it, you talk to this girl for the last three months every day, but if she's choosing this other dude that she's known for two weeks over you, and you know everything you bring to the table, mm -hmm. bye! That's the attitude you have to have. Not you up on social media talking about, I'm so sad. Think like a lion, don't think like sheep. And lions don't concern themselves with sheep. That nice guy walks around acting like sheep. Get on your grown man stuff. And I'm gonna end this video the same way Mark Andre ended our phone call. He said, you know I'm Team Suzy. I don't want you to think I'm not sympathizing with you, but be a lion. You will never get money chasing these women, but you will always get women while chasing this money. Facts, facts. So one thing I will say is this. One thing I will say is this. Uh. If you are an emotional guy, if you are an emotional guy like that and, and everything else, I will always tell my emotional guys out there, if you're emotional guys, give a woman 50% of your emotions, okay? If you already know, if, if, if you feel like I'm talking to you, yeah, give a woman 50% of your emotions. If you have texted this girl four times in a row and she ain't text you back, she don't want to talk to you, dog. Um, also, 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 the last thing I will like to say is Okay, besides texting, calling, I would say this. I would say this. People are a creature of habits. That's what a lot of people are. They're creatures of habits. They have to have a habit. They have it down packed, okay? And the thing is, I bet this girl did did a lot of a lot of tests on this guy before he even knew that he thought that he fell she she laid the groundwork saying that i don't want you to be i don't want you to talk to anybody because i'll be i'll be jealous she laid the groundwork and she knew he was a nice guy because he ain't trying nothing for two weekends in a row i don't even know if she if he flew her out there um and then the next time he he gave her he they kissed or whatever and then that's basically that's how she hooked him and she just she played the relationship role until it was until she found somebody else and she probably did the test phone calls thing as in if i don't call him for a day i wonder if he'll call me or she did that test phone thing see oh i wonder if he texts me is he gonna immediately text me back she tested him when she called him out of the blue asking to pump another nigga's gas okay i'm not saying i want y'all to be heartless i'm not saying that but i just see too many of my homeboys falling for shit like this and it hurts my heart but we'll get back to the animes we'll get back to the animes i'm still in the cosplays 
and everything else um but if you go support the original creator links will be down below uh uh my links up there you can support me or if you can help me out with cosplay links in the description down below again my name is shay too sweet you can call me shay for short and stop putting these women on a pedestal okay i don't care black white puerto rican or haitian don't put women on a pedestal put them on the same level as you and have them earn their work they way up okay that is that is my that's my big sister advice like my grandmother always says so long